Alléluia. Alléluia, beloved. Um, if you believe our channel has been helpful to you, and if you believe we share important truths about the Word of God, do also subscribe to the channel so that every time when we have new videos, you will be updated. All right, today we are looking at uh, things like makeup, nail polish, eyelashes, such kind of things. We want to be able to understand is it uh, a sin when a child of God applies makeup and such kind of things. And I'm going to be reading the book of Enoch chapter 8 because that's the, where the Bible is. Uh, where the scripture speaks of the origin of makeup. Now, before I read the book of Enoch, um, somebody may say, but the book of Enoch is not captured in the Bible. Well, that's true. The book of Enoch is not captured in the Bible, but um, if you do uh, proper research, you will understand that the book of Enoch is one of the uh, books which were proven to be authentic but was not included in the Bible. If you read uh, your book, your Bible in the book of Jude chapter 1 verse 14, the Bible speaks of the prophecies which were written by Enoch, which means these people had a book of Enoch which we are reading but was not, uh, the people who were compiling the Bible did not um, edit so we're going to be reading that verse because it speaks of the origin of makeup so i'm going to be reading enoch chapter 8 verse 1 and it says and azazel taught them to make now azazel is and fallen angel speaks of the things which the fallen angels were teaching human beings i read again and azazel taught them to make swords and the art of making them bracelets and uh, ornaments the and the art of making up the eyes and of beautifying the eyelids and the world was changed changing the world from what god has had intended his creation to be men and women began matching skin tone eye size shadows and curves to look like them <laughs> hallelujah so the fallen angel came to the earth realm and began to teach men teachings which were forbidden for men they began to teach them um, how to apply makeup and I'm still gonna show you this from the Bible don't don't be troubled. We're still going to see that right from the Bible. <clears throat> but before that, I want us to look at it from the origin. The origin of makeup came through the teachings of fallen angels. The origin of makeup came through the origin of fallen angels. The fallen angels came up with teachings that were forbidden to human beings. Even things like witchcraft, stuff like that. It was the fallen angels which were teaching human beings. This kind of understanding was not available to uh, human beings. But when the fallen angel began to sleep with men and began to interface with men, they began to uh, reveal to them secrets on how... To connect with demonic powers, how to, you know, the, the, how God created everything, how they can manipulate things through witchcraft and through, through all those covenants which are not of God. They began to teach them many things, and one of those things is the doing of eyelashes, the makeup, the art of making up the eyes, beautifying the eyelashes. Now, I'm going to show you 
some few reasons why God is not pleased with makeup. Number one, when you apply makeup, it's like you are insulting God. You are telling God that you don't like the way he made you. Write it down, please. Every time when you apply makeup, you are telling God that you don't like the way he has made you. You don't appreciate the way he created you. Number two, when you apply makeup, you are telling God that you are not beautiful enough. Or you are telling yourself that you are not beautiful enough. Hallelujah. You are saying that you are not beautiful enough. Number three reason, I want us to look at that from the Bible. Second Kings, Second Kings, uh, chapter nine, verse eight. Second Kings, chapter nine, verse eight, and it says, uh, "And when Jehu was come to Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it, and she painted his face." Notice that she painted her face and tied her head and looked out at the window. And another translation, other translation says, the good news translation says, Jehu arrived in Jezreel, Jezebel having heard what had happened, put on eye shadow arranged her hair and stood looking down at the street from a window in the palace. Uh, this one says, she put on an eye shadow and arranged her hair. I would like to read, read it in the message translation. I would like to read it in the message translation. And it reads as follows. When Jehu, when Je Jezebel heard that Jehu had arrived in Jezreel, she made herself up, put on eyeshadow, and arranged her hair, and posed seductively at the window. Posed seductively at the window. Hallelujah. So, from this scripture, we come to understand that Jezebel wanted to escape from, from Jehu. And the way she wanted to escape was to seduce Jehu. And part of the seduction of, of, of Jezebel was that she painted her face not only that she also arranged her hair she did in her hair in a way that would be seductive and the bible says she posed at the window in a seductive manner because the aim of what jezebel was doing was to seduce Joe so that because Jehu is coming to kill Jezebel, once he sees her, he will be captured by lust. Hallelujah. He will be captured. And knowing that Jezebel was also a great witch, I believe there was also some level of witchcraft that was involved in that beauty. Hallelujah. So, number three reason why God is not pleased with makeup is that every time when you put on makeup, you are trying to seduce someone. It's kind of like a witchcraft operation. You are trying to manipulate someone by giving them a fake appearance, which is not your own appearance. You are giving someone an, a fake appearance, not your real appearance. So it's kind of like a manipulation. 
it's kind of like witchcraft because you are manipulating someone. Hallelujah. Makeup, the, the reason behind makeup, every time when you put on makeup, you must know that you are manipulating someone. You are trying to seduce someone. Every time, if you are a human of God or, or whosoever, if you are putting on makeup, it means you are trying to seduce someone. You are trying to give people your fake appearance. Hallelujah. You are not giving people your real identity of your face. Hallelujah. And I know some people may say, I know many famous people, famous women of God, very famous people who are on TV, who are preaching with makeup every Sunday and every time when they preach. So, you see someone going to hell just because they are famous and you want to join them. You see somebody who is famous going to hell and you want to join them simply because they are famous. You are not, you are not wise. You are not a wise human being. You are totally not wise. You are not wise. You cannot follow somebody just because they are famous on their way to hell. Hallelujah. Regardless how famous they are, regardless how influential they are, if they are still putting on makeup, they are putting on something which is a manipulation, which you are trying to look seductive. You are trying to seduce somebody. And that is witchcraft operation. Reason number four. Makeup or eyelashes or nail polish. Whenever you, you polish your nails or, or one of these things, artificial beauty, are the properties of Jezebel. Hallelujah. These are the properties of Jezebel. How do we know? Because we saw Jezebel in the Bible wearing makeup. We do not have any record. Hallelujah. And it's not only her, Jezebel, that even the, the children of Israel, there were some women which wanted to seduce the children of Israel. And the Bible says they applied artificial beauty. They applied because that is the operation of witchcraft. That is an operation of seduction. So the reason why they applied artificial beauty was so that they can manipulate the people to love them. Even out of their own will. Simply because of the artificial beauty. They are being deceived to love somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah. And these are the what? The properties of Jezebel. Because we see Jezebel in the Bible. Uh, clearly she, 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 she had those products. She, she applied them. She she influenced other ladies to put such kind of products. Why? Because it's her product. It's her property. So every time when you are the child of God, when you put on makeup, know that you are putting on what? The property of Jezebel. Meaning, by applying such kind of things, automatically you yourself uh, become the servant of Jezebel. You, the spirit of Jezebel will enter you because you uh, have put on something you have put on something which belongs to her and for that reason for putting what belongs to her automatically you become her servant hallelujah automatically you become her servant so every time when you put on makeup as I have said all these reasons you are telling God that you do not like the way he has made you. As I have told you. You are telling God that you don't like the way he has made you. You don't appreciate your real 
face identity. You don't appreciate the way he has made you. Number two, as if we have measured, is that when you put on makeup, hallelujah, when you put on makeup, uh, telling God that you are not beautiful enough or you are telling yourself that you do not like the way you are, you do not appreciate the way you are. And number three, we did mention about Jezebel that it's a witchcraft man manipulation whenever you put on a makeup. You are manipulating somebody. You are giving them a false impression of, of, of your real identity of how you look. You are giving people um, an impression of who you are not, which is a witchcraft operation. You are, and number four, we did say that it's um, it's a seduction. Is a you are you are you are trying to seduce somebody. Whenever you put on makeup, you are seducing someone. You are trying to seduce someone. Hallelujah! It's a seductive property. Hallelujah! You are trying to seduce someone. And number five, we did mention that it's it's the property of Jezebel. So as the child of God, you cannot be you cannot be um in, in, impressing these things. You cannot be upholding these things or defending these things or or you know having these things, putting on such kind of things, knowing the, that these are the properties of Jezebel. Because when you do that, you are supporting Jezebel. You are, you become the servant of Jezebel. You become the instrument of Jezebel, and Jezebel will use you to bring lust into the minds of people. And so, I pray that this teaching is helpful to you, and that if you have um, a child of God who is into this thing of nail polish polish, eyelashes, makeup, and all of those kind of things. Repent from the spirit of Jezebel. And the Lord is faithful enough to, to, to deliver you from any Jezebel.